this is giving the row okay this is giving the row but definitely probably more um affordable you have to find the right pleated pant for you and this pleated pants i feel like it's definitely worth a try if you're looking for a pleated pant what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl sierra hey yeah and i am back with another video today guys and another exciting video nonetheless and i'm going to be reviewing an eternals brand and before we get into all of that first off i just want to say hello in case you are new here my name is sierra and if you are a fan of really classic timeless quality clothing then this is definitely a channel that you should be subscribed to um i also like to review and talk about really timeless just brands in general i was on vogue okay and i like to go on there every now and again just to see you know the new brands that are rising or just what's new in fashion and i came across an eternal's brand and honestly speaking, I was not familiar with Anna Eternal prior to seeing her on Vogue Collections, which is kind of odd because I've actually read that she has had a huge impact on Swedish fashion um, as a whole. She was actually creative director at H&M for a point in time, as well as in other stories. She also was creative director at Mary Mako, I believe in like 2015 or 2016, which is a brand that's been around since like the 50s. Um, I think it started popping off in the 60s and it's always been known for just like really classic classic silhouettes and just like really fun prints even if you like google an eternal like you can't really find so much about her like i had to google her name and then go to like videos just to see where her name just like popped up in videos because if you search her name itself on youtube like i think one literally one video pops up and it's like 60 seconds long if that but anyway i read her um she had a article talking about her house in Sweden, I believe, and her taste is just immaculate. Like you can just really see uh, her eye just by the objects that she has in her home. I would say she just really speaks to that whole Swedish aesthetic, what you think of anyway. And in case you're unfamiliar, I've talked about it before, but Swedish brands definitely tend to be just like chic, comfortable. I feel like that's what I've grasped. Like I was doing a bit of research yesterday you know to prepare for this video and i was just like really just looking at like swedish like street style for instance and for the most part literally everyone on the street walking you can tell those who are just like really into fashion but even those who aren't like no one is really overdoing it over accessorizing it's just like really functional again comfortable chic like looks when i looked at an eternal's brand the little section that she has on essence and also going to her direct uh, brand page you definitely get that vibe that really Swedish again sleek clean minimal vibe which I really really love and when you go to Turner Studios like about how they describe the brand is said to be like very progressive um, luxury fashion brand and they aim to offer exceptional quality and elevated designs in an accessible manner highlight accessible because that is one thing that I noticed when going through the website is the price kind of is justified with what they're offering. And when I seen it on Vogue Collections, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is giving the role, okay? This is giving the role, but definitely probably more um, affordable. 100% cotton denim, you know, wide-leg cotton denim. That was priced at like $390 or $400. Her cotton button-ups, I think, were around like the same price, like $390 for $100. But when you look at the tailoring of the button-ups, you know, the lapel, the, the collars, the cuffs, like it all looks like it's really well made and therefore like justified in price. Just like really seasonless too, I would say. Like a lot of her pieces you can wear just all year round. Like I really, really appreciate like Swedish fashion and I feel like subconsciously I've pulled inspiration from from them. And that's just off the back of like when I think of like one of my favorite brands, for instance, for instance, Our Legacy, who has inspired me in just so many different ways. Because again, I feel like when speaking about like Swedish brands, it is a heavy emphasis on quality and on just like really classic silhouettes. And I feel like a lot of those types of things you can find at your local thrift store. But when it comes to like styling, I definitely feel like I look to brands like Our Legacy. They really do that whole like minimal take just like very, very well. 
So yeah, my initial thoughts when seeing Turn Studios was again like, oh my gosh, this reminds me of the robe, but it looks like it might be more accessible to me. The Turn Studios does look like it is quality stuff, but the robe fabrics or just the way that they photograph just in general just looks just super, super expensive always. But Turn Studios, I don't know, it just had like this... I can touch this. This looks like it can be tangible to me. This looks like I don't really have to handle it so, so much with care. As opposed to like the roll pieces, it looks like as soon as you take them off, like you really need to steam it or like put it in plastic. Like that's what the roll pieces is giving. And although I'm very big on investing in quality garments or thrifting quality garments, I don't feel like you have to necessarily invest in the roll piece, you know? Turner Studios, I feel like it's a good option, a good like middle ground to invest in, whereas it's not too expensive and it's not too, I don't like to say like not too cheap because when I think cheap, I think literally like it's falling apart. So it's not too inexpensive and it's not too expensive. It's a good like middle ground to where it's, you feel like you're investing, but you still feel good ultimately because it's a cotton piece or it's like a really nicely tailored jacket that's just like classic in the way it's designed and therefore you can see yourself gravitating towards it for years to come. And because it's in this natural wool gabardine or wool cashmere, just off of that, it's gonna like last. I mean, of course you should take care of like all things, whether you pay $2 for it at a thrift store or $1,000 for it from a luxury brand. Like one should always have a sense of integrity for those types of pieces. Um, and I, that's something that I have, you know, come to learn just like very recently It's just like, Wow, when it comes to like investing in pieces, yeah, like yes, you should be able to like wear it, live your life in it, but at the same time, it should be handled with some care, you know, because it's fabric at the end of the day. It's not made of like wood, you know, where you can just really hammer at it. And coming from a person that's just like, I try to be like really clean and just like, calculated with my buys like I don't like to buy a lot of like sparkly things for instance but if I was to buy something sparkly like I would want it to look like something like this shoe here whereas again the silhouette is just like very classic but it's in this sparkly fabric but since again the silhouette is very classic like I feel like I can get away with again wearing it with my other more classic timeless things and then just like not read to I don't know like quirky and there's nothing wrong with quirky, it's just like quirky, it's just not me. I, and the collection that I saw on Vogue from Turn Studios was actually their Resorts 2024 show. And this show, again, immediately captivated me, captivated me, immediately had me wanting more and going to like past seasons to see what else they had to offer. Because I just feel like the styling is just so simple yet so effective. And again, it's just like those types of pieces that can just be worn on just like basically anyone. Or the type of pieces where it's, it's so simple to wear. If one person wear it, it looks one way, but then another person can wear it and style it another way and make it look like a totally different piece. And I love pieces like that that like kind of act as like a base for, you know, you or just how what you want to do, do with it. And one of the looks that I really love from Turn Studios Resort 2024 show was actually this look right here, which is this mid gray like sweatshirt material type of dress here i love like the collar and also like the raglan sleeves i feel like this raglan seam here it tends to look good on just like most body types especially if you t are broad i'm a really broad person and i find that raglan sleeves just always just look super sleek and just lay super nicely on my body so that's another reason why i feel like this look really spoke to me in particular but i just feel like this is just the perfect look to just get up and just you know run errands in or go to a quick little lunch in a quick little brunch in it also is a look too that I feel like can be worn in like the spring and also in the fall it can be dressed up with a little over the knee little black boot or little flip-flop sandals like they have here I really love how they have it styled here with just like the little sparkly toe little flip-flop sandal which I really freaking love like I love this sandal so much and yeah I just feel like it really gave this dress a little bit more of a feminine touch the denim she actually has on her website right now and I think these are the ones that are priced at like 400 or like 490 but the wash is just so beautiful. I feel like looking at this denim you can just tell it is quality denim. Just how wide it is at the bottom. I just feel like it really makes for a good pant to again wear with like a little heel or a little sneaker. The stack at the bottom I feel like it's super like with the look of the jean like it just doesn't look like it needs to be him or anything like it looks like super effortless and in case you are a shorter person and you don't know what an original hem is when it comes to like jeans like this whereas you have like that washed bottom that nice washed detail at the bottom of a jean whereas you don't want to lose it but you also need to shorten it because you're shorter and it's just 
doesn't work otherwise I would say go to a tailor that can reattach the original pin so essentially they will cut off the bottom of that pan and then reattach it to the length that you need so then you won't lose that nice washed detail but I will say do your research when it comes to this because you don't want to go to someone that's gonna make it look you know crappy which is kind of easy to do when it comes to reattaching a hem in case you are in New York for instance a tailor that I really like to go to is Ranja and Mott 306 Mott Street and ask for Babu tell him Sierra sent you and yeah he does a really good job he's super efficient and super fast and then this look right here oh my gosh just like everything about it it's just every freaking thing and this just goes back to just like sexy like I don't know I feel like being sexy means something to like everyone for me I just feel like textures just make looks very sexy like I really love like the very um sleek look leather look of the skirt with the shirt tucked in so it's giving like waist to me that waist is sexy the the texture of the skirt is sexy like this look is just like very easy like very easy to come up with very easy to replicate even if you don't have these freaking pieces which I feel like is kind of the idea when you see some of these brands like I feel like they almost expect for you to naturally want to like create this look with pieces that you have in your wardrobe and then sometimes you may find like oh dang this is not the exact same piece that I need but this is a classic piece so actually let me cop this one from Turner Studios you know because I want to recreate this look like it's giving kind of like Saint Laurent but like not really it's giving more like soft you know with the the weight or like the feel of like the button up and the scrunched up sleeve and the turtleneck underneath like it's definitely even more like function sexy and then this look right here I feel like you can never go wrong with a little suit the fit of this suit I feel like is so beautiful the leg is not too wide it's more like a, like a straight leg straight fit leg and then I feel like I love that it's like it has like this boyish feel with the way that it's constructed but then paired with the heel that juxtaposition I just think it's so beautiful and I love like the contrast of really soft or like really feminine looking pieces with something so like masculine like a suit. I for one I feel like a suit is just such a good investment especially a suit that's in like a neutral tone like this because you can break this look up so many different ways. The pant can be worn with a, a navy knit the blazer can be worn with the black jeans and like a little booty like it's just so many ways that different styles I feel like you can literally create over like a hundred or a thousand looks with a freaking suit um, and I just love how they again chose to just keep it simple when it comes to styling this look with just a simple basic white t-shirt anyone can envision themselves in something like this and then this look right here I really like it's like the same top as like the dress with the raglan sleeve but I think this is the sweatshirt version with a white pair of jeans and then like a pop of color on the the shoe I feel like mostly when it comes to brands like this that are again just so minimal and clean it really boils down to like the styling that comes to that desire aspect when it comes to wanting one of the pieces because seeing the way that this look is style I mean who doesn't want to look like this it's like super cool you know you have a little like feminine aspect is given like I'm not trying too hard you know because I'm wearing jeans and a freaking sweatshirt but I got on a little heel so yeah and then this look right here is a look that I was just like oh yeah this definitely reminds me of like the role but it looks like I could maybe afford it this coat right here I feel like it's a little bit more lax yet still structured so therefore it's probably going to be less than the row coat that's what I thought of anyway when I saw this I was just like oh yeah like I probably could afford this coat actually and I love that turn studios like again they just really stick to those really classic pieces like a pleated pant you can never go wrong with a freaking pleated pants and I've talked about this in like a past video I believe when I was talking about Jerry Lorenzo's brand but when it comes to brands that are just very um minimal and it's, it's all about like quality and fabrics it comes down to like the little nuances and when it comes down to those nuances like those nuances are not going to look the same on each person so I know a lot of people may say oh you can get a pleated pant anywhere you have to find the right pleated pant for you and this pleated pant I feel like it's definitely worth a try if you're looking for a pleated pant but I would say as a whole like a lot of the looks or the pieces from the the Turner Studios collection it just looks like pieces that you don't have to put much thought into when it comes to like styling or just wearing on your day-to-day -day. Um, just like this like coat right here like this coat can literally be thrown over anything like a pair of freaking leggings I feel like I talk to a lot of people on my day-to-day -day who say things like ever since the pandemic like I don't put on clothes like I work from home like I'm always in like 
yoga pants and turn studios or an eternal is showing you baby you can still keep on your leggings and still throw on a nice car coat on top and just look very fashion forward in your freaking lululemon leggings and yeah i like that and also here's an elevated slipper so you can still feel like you haven't left your home post pandemic yeah i really love like the fuzzy slippers the fuzzy little sandals and how they paired them with like really serious looking suits like again i really love like that contrast i think that it makes for a very like interesting look but that is all that i have for you guys today that is my review over turn studios i can definitely see myself owning something from this brand very very soon i'm actually eyeing this belt that they have here i think that again it's a really good price point for what it is 100 leather very simple and can be worn with like multiple different looks so i'm definitely thinking about getting this belt i want to start off maybe with like the silver and then get the gold because i definitely want both um because i feel like when it comes to like belts yes even if you do go simple sometimes you might want gold hardware and sometimes you want might want silver hardware and this is again comment down below for my people that is all about like the little small details like it definitely makes a freaking difference um but yeah that is all that i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do not forget to click the like button you guys it really helps your girl out and i don't know i just like to know that you guys like you know like it <laughs> um see you guys in my next one Peace.